Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet an octopus, which was a request I received. You could crochet it all in one colour, like this one. For this one, I use one colour for the body and the eyes, and the blue for the spots, for a blue-winged octopus. And for this one, the one I'll be using today, I've used one colour for the body and the inner eyes. There's a slightly different colour for the outer eyes and I've got the blue for the spots. When crocheted using 8 ply yarn and a 3mm hook, the large one, the size is 17cm wide by 17cm or 6.5 inches wide by 6.5 inches. This medium oct octopus crocheted using 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1.5mm hook is 12cm wide by 12cm or 4 and 3 quarter inches wide by 4 and 3 quarter inches. This small octopus crocheted using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1mm hook is 8cm wide by 8cm or 3 inches wide by 3 inches. I'll be using Katona cotton today so the size will be somewhere between the large one and the medium one. I'll tell you the size at the end of the video. Now I'm using Katona cotton. I've got 105 brighter white for the main colour, 404 English tea for the outer eyes and 201 electric blue for the spots. But you could leave off the spots if you'd prefer and work your octopus all in one colour. I've got a 2.5mm crochet hook, scissors, a darning needle to weave in the ends and sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together and the black is to embroider on markings on the inner eyes. Now we're going to start at the top of the head, work the head and the body and then work this leg, do a neatening row around the head and then work the other legs. This leg here is worked separately. I've got my 105, the bridal white, my main colour and I start with four chain. For row one I work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. The single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet we put the hook into the stitch, bring through a loop, put the yarn around the hook and take our hook with this yarn at the end through the two loops. Then we work two double crochet into the next stitch. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two more loops. Then we work another double crochet in that same stitch and one single crochet into the last stitch. The different stitches just gives it a curve at the top. For row 2 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. One single crochet into each of the next two stitches. and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row three we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into each of the next four stitches,
and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row four, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. One single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 10 stitches. So after our two single crochet in the first stitch work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row five, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch, then one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch, We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 12 stitches. So after our two single crochet in the first work, one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row six we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of our 12 stitches. For row 7 we start with one chain and turn, we'll work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. So we put our hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. We have three loops on the hook, we put the yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work one single crochet in each stitch till we have two stitches left. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 10 stitches. So after our joined single crochet work, one single crochet in each stitch till you have two left. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 8 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of our 10 stitches.
For bow 9 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. And then one single crochet in each stitch to the end. We'll have 9 stitches. For bow 10 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of our 9 stitches. For row 11 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then we'll work one single crochet in each stitch. Till we have two stitches left we'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have seven stitches. So after our joined single crochet work one single crochet in each stitch till we have two stitches left. And work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For bow 12 we start with one chain and turn we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches, then one single crochet in each stitch to the end. We'll have six stitches. For bow 13 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the six stitches. And that's the head part done. We're going to start increasing for the body now. For bow 14 we start with one chain and turn. We'll work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work three single crochet in the last stitch and we'll have eight stitches. So work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. and work three single crochet in the last stitch. For bow 15 we start with one chain and turn. We work three single crochet into the first stitch. Then we're going to work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work three single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 12 stitches. So after our three single crochet in the first stitch work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch.
I've got one stitch left. We work three single crochet in the last stitch. For row 16 we start with one chain and turn. We work three single crochet into the first stitch. Then we'll work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work three single crochet in the last stitch and we'll have 16 stitches. So after our three single crochet in the first stitch work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. and work three single crochet into the last stitch. For row 17 we start with one chain and turn. We're going to work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. Into our last stitch we'll work two single crochet and one half double crochet. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. For half double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. For row 18 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the 18 stitches. For row 19 we start with one chain and turn and we'll work one single crochet in each of the first 17 stitches.
we missed that last stitch and that's the body done. We'll start on this leg first. We start with 16 chain. We miss the first two chain and work one half double crochet in each of the next two stitches. We work two half double crochet into the next stitch. and one double crochet into the following stitch. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. Now we're going to work two double crochet into the next stitch. and one double crochet into the following stitch. Now we're going to work a joined double crochet over the next three stitches. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, then yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Then we work, put our yarn around the hook, hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Then yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through the four loops on the hook. Now we're going to work a join double crochet over the next two stitches. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. We've got three loops on the hook, we put the yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work one double crochet into each of our chain to the last chain. Into the last chain we're going to work two treble a treble is a double treble using UK terms. For a treble we put the yarn around the hook twice, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two more loops, yarn around the hook and hook with the yarn at the end through the remaining loops. And we work one more treble into that stitch. And then we're going to join just around the corner where our work meets with a slip stitch. For a slip stitch we put the hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook. And then we work one slip stitch in each stitch up around the head for our neatening row. And we're going to work a slip stitch in each stitch until we get to the bottom of the second last row. So just into this stitch here. So a slip stitch in each stitch up around the head.
Now I'm just to the bottom of that second last row. For this second leg here, we work 18 chain. We work one half double crochet in the third chain from the hook. Two half double crochet in the following stitch. One half double crochet into the next stitch. Then two double crochet into each of the following three stitches. So two double crochet into each of the next three stitches. One double crochet into the next stitch. And two double crochet into the following stitch. One double crochet into the next stitch. And two double crochet into the following stitch. Now we work one double crochet into each chain until we've got two chain left. And we're going to work a joined treble over those last two stitches. So we put the yarn around the hook twice, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two more loops. Then we put the yarn around the hook twice, hook into the last chain and bring up a loop, Yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. We've got three loops left. We put the yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we're going to slip stitch in the first stitch of along the bottom of our body, just in there. And that's our first two arms done. For this third arm here we start with 24 chain.
We miss the first two chain and work one half double crochet into each of the next two chain. We work a joined half double crochet over the next two stitches so we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop, then yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. And then we work a joined half double crochet over the next two stitches as well. Then we work one half double crochet into the following stitch. And one double crochet into the next stitch. We'll work a join double crochet over the next two stitches. and one double crochet into each of the following two stitches. A joined double crochet over the next two stitches. And then we'll work one double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And we work two treble into the last of the chain. Then we miss three stitches along the bottom and slip stitch into the following stitch. And that's the third arm done. For the fourth arm we work 25 chain We miss the first two chain and work one half double crochet into each of the next five chain.
we work two double crochet into the following stitch then one double crochet into each of the next seven stitches Then we work one treble in each remaining chain. We miss three stitches along the bottom and slip stitch into the next stitch. Now this leg is going to be bent over. Now for this fifth leg we start with 21 chain. We work one half double crochet in the third chain from the hook. And a joined half double crochet over the next two stitches. and a joined half double crochet over the following two stitches. We work one half double crochet into the next stitch and a join double crochet over the following two stitches. And then 
one double crochet into each of the next four stitches. Two double crochet into the next stitch. And then one treble into each remaining chain. This time we miss two stitches along the bottom and slip stitch into the next stitch. And that's the fifth leg. For the sixth leg we turn our work and slip stitch into the first two stitches up the side of our fifth leg. And then we work 18 chain. We miss the first two chain and work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. and two half double crochet into the following stitch. We work two double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Then one double crochet into each of the following seven stitches. Now we work one treble in each remaining chain.
Then we spin the leg around and work one treble in the first stitch just at the top there into the side there where we work the slip stitch. Then we work a joined treble over the next stitch and just in next to our body there. So we put the yarn around the hook twice, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Then we put the yarn around the hook twice, hook in to the side there, just at the top of our body, and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, then yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through the three loops. We miss three stitches on the body and slip stitch into the next stitch. And that's six legs done. Now for the seventh leg we turn our work and work one slip stitch into each of the first three stitches on the side of our sixth leg. And we work 20 chain. We miss the first two chain and work one half double crochet into each of the next six chain. We work two double crochet into each of the following two stitches. and one double crochet into each of the next six stitches. And then we work one treble in each remaining chain.
and then we spin the work around and we work one treble in each of the first two stitches down the side of our last leg where we slip stitched. We miss that last stitch and we slip stitch into the bottom of our first leg. And fasten off. And that's the octopus with seven legs. When I weave in the ends, I'll give it a bit of a press. Now for this eighth leg, I've still got my 105, the brighter white, and I start with 24 chain. I miss the first two chain and work one double crochet in each of the next seven chain. I work a join double crochet over the next two stitches. And one double crochet into each of the following two stitches. Then a join double crochet over the next two stitches. And one double crochet into each of the following two stitches. one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches and a joined half double crochet over the following two stitches. one half double crochet into the next stitch and a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches Then I work two chain and slip stitch into the last stitch and fasten off. And that's the eighth arm done.
Now for these outer eyes, I'll be using my 404, the English tea, but you could use the same colour as your octopus. Now we start with a magic loop. There's lots of ways to make a magic loop, so make it how you feel most comfortable. I just put my hook on the yarn, bring the short end over the hook and the long end over the short end to make a circle. Put the yarn around the hook and bring my hook with the yarn at the end through the circle. Then I work one chain and I work eight half double crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight so I take hold of the tail and just ease it in as tight as I can and I join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. The second outer eye is work the same. We start with a magic loop and work one chain and work eight half double crochet into our circle We pull the circle tight and join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. Now for the inner eyes I'll be using my 105, the bridal white and I start with a magic loop. I work one chain and work four single crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight and join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off and I've just got a small circle the second one has worked the same we start with a magic loop and work one chain and work four single crochet into the circle We pull the circle tight and join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. Now if you wanted to make a blue ringed octopus you could crochet the little spots or you could embroider them on or even use blue beads. Now. I've got my 201, the electric blue, and I start with a magic loop and work one chain and work three single crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight and join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch 
and fast enough. Now, when I was making the small octopus, when I fastened off, I left a long tail and used it to attach the dots to the octopus. But for this thicker yarn, I'll just fasten off and weave in the ends. Now, for this one, there's 24 spots on my octopus. So I'll weave in the ends and I'll make another 23 spots and I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now there's my pieces. I've got the octopus, the eighth leg, the spots, the outer eyes and the inner eyes. The first things I'll do is bend over the fourth and seventh leg and then just stitch them down just like that. And I'll embroider a black dash on each of the inner eyes from the centre of the circle out to the edge, just like that. The next things I'll do is attach the inner eyes to the outer eyes, just in the middle of them, like that, and attach the eighth leg. This end goes... between the second and third leg and the end is attached just under the body in there. So in up under the fifth leg. So like that. Next I'll attach the eyes. They go towards the bottom of the head. One in there and this one goes off the side of the head a bit. The black lines are even across the head. So in about there. The last thing I do is add the spots. I'll put four on the head. Probably about four on the body. And two or three on each leg. I'll have a close-up on my website of where I've attached them, but just what looks best. So I'll attach them in like that and then I'll be back to show you the finished octopus. There's a finished blue winged octopus. The size is 15 centimetres wide by 15 centimetres or 6 inches wide by 6 inches. If you've liked my video please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.